Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today, today Gina Young is gonna show you all how to make loaded tortilla chips. Here's what you will need. You will need two pounds of ground beef, okay? And I've seasoned my ground beef with adobo and cracked black pepper. Once I break the meat down and start to brown it, then I'll go in with some sazon as well. Those of you that know me, you know that I love sazon. <clears throat> Here's what it looks like. And then per each pound of hamburger, we have two pounds, you're gonna use a packet. Since we have two pounds of hamburger, we're gonna use two packets of taco seasoning. I have some really nice, beautiful, fresh tomatoes that we're going to use today, as well as sour cream. I have sliced jalapenos. I have salsa con queso. This here, medium. I love this. This is cheese dip. And then I have chunky salsa. I have refried beans. <clears throat> and I have traditional gold tortilla rounds. Now, question about the shredded cheese for you all. Answer me in the uh, comment section. Are you that person that loves to put shredded cheese on your tortillas? Because honestly, I'm not. So I'm not going to use this. A lot of people like to take cheese and they'll put cheese all over their tortillas and then they'll bake it in the oven, you know, with the meat and then bring it out and the cheese is just all melted and baked into the rounds. But what I feel like that does is it makes your tortilla chips soggy. They don't last long because they'll get soggy. So I don't use the shredded cheese, but it's really up to your discretion if you wanna use that. What I like to use, I like to use the cheese sauce. You can call it cheese dip if you want it. I love to pour. I'll heat that cheese sauce up, get it nice and bubbly and hot, and I'll pour it all over my tortillas. Oh my goodness, you hear me? Okay, so that's what I like to do. So what we're doing right now is we're actually, I've just turned my stove on. We wanna brown this up and break it down. Let me grab my spoon so I can break the meat down. And once I see the meat starting to get brown, we'll put some sazon on. Okay, so then let's go in. And I like to make sure that my meat is nice and small pieces. I don't want any big chunks, right? Because we're not making meatballs here. We're making tacos. We're making uh, taco meat. So what I like to do is just make sure that my meat is nice and small pieces here, okay? I think this is a little bit more than two pounds. I sent my husband to the store and he did such a great, he did a great job. And I truly appreciate him going to the store for me. I just didn't feel like going to the store today. And that's really unlike me because normally I get up first thing in the morning, first thing bright and early, and I'm heading to the store to go get my ingredients. Well, I just didn't feel like it. So he went to the store for me and I truly appreciate that. It looks like I want to put a little bit more adobo. Put you some in there. A little bit more. Adobo is great flavor. Put you some cracked black pepper in there. Don't be afraid to use that black pepper. We have a lot of meat here that we need to season. Okay. Just like this. And I'm going to show you something special that I like to do with my refried beans as well. Beautiful. Okay, once this starts to get nice and brown, I'll come back and we'll give it a stir and I'll show you what we need to do next. Okay, everybody, let's take a peek in at our beautiful hamburger. All right, we're just gonna turn it over just like so. All right, kind of mix it up a little bit and chop it as we go. I hope you all are having a great day today. The weekend is near. I hope you all are having a great work week. What are some of the things that you all are doing this weekend? I think that I looked at our weather 
and it looks like we're having cold weather this weekend. I'm not happy for that. <laughs> like, I'm really not happy for that. In the 50s and uh, cloudy, which is not, that's not up my alley. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. I had planned on cooking on the grill this weekend, but I don't want to cook on the grill and it's cold outside, cold and cloudy. I'll wait till I have a really beautiful day to where you all can see you know, like a nice scenery. I don't want you to see clouds and the wind blowing and I'm freezing outside on that deck, <laughs> right? Okay, so now what I'd like to do, let's go ahead and put some sazon in, okay? I love sazon, just like this. Get you some on there, makes everything taste better. Give it a nice toss around. We're gonna make sure that everything gets nice and golden brown and chopped up into small pieces. I'm so excited to show you all how I make my loaded nachos. This is how I like to make mines. I know a lot of people, they'll use like green onions and they'll use kind of like abundance of all kinds of stuff. Mine's is kind of simple but it's packed with flavor, especially when you use that cheese sauce, those jalapenos, that chunky salsa, and the refried beans. The refried beans just takes it to another level. Absolutely it does. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's let this continue to cook. And when I come back, the meat will be cooked. We'll need to drain it and we'll start putting our taco seasoning in. Okay, everyone, let's give our hamburger a nice stir around. Our hamburger is actually almost done, but you want to definitely make sure all of that pink is out of there, okay? Anytime you're making ground beef, all right? Just like so. And no, honestly, if I'm making a hamburger, I don't want my hamburger too, too, too done, right? It's okay to have a little tiny bit of pink, but you know, if you're making nachos, make sure your hamburger is well done. You all know me, you know, if I'm making a steak, if I'm making a ribeye steak, you know how I like to have mines. I like mines medium well. I like just a little bit of pink going through there. Woo, it makes for such a juicy steak. Mmm. I'm, I'm getting myself excited for a steak. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue to cook this until it's done and drain it and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, now I have some water here. You will need water when you're using the taco seasoning. I've poured all of that oil off. Make sure you get as much oil as you can off of your hamburger. And you can see that I've chopped all of the meat up just like so. Then we're gonna go in with our taco seasoning. Taco seasoning is the best, you know? I used to use my own seasonings for taco seasoning. And I tried taco seasoning one day and I thought, I'm not making my own taco blend anymore. Why? Why when you can purchase it this way? It turns out perfect every time and it's always tasty. That's right up my alley. <laughs> Absolutely it is. So when I put the powder in, I like to go in with some water. Is it gonna make it runny? No, not at all. Not at all, trust me when I tell you this. And I think I'm gonna use another half of a taco seasoning because, um, like I said, my husband bought the hamburger and I think he bought a little bit more than two pounds. So that's why I'm going to put a little bit more in. Just a half of a packet, all right? And I'll save the rest of this for another day. Okay? Just like so. Now at this point, go ahead and turn this on to a low heat. And we want to put one more swivel of warm water in just like so, so you can have that saucy feel to it, okay? 
Oh yeah. And you want to let this simmer for around about just maybe 10 minutes in the sauce. And you have beautiful taco meat. You hear me? You don't have to put onions and bell peppers in it. This right here is absolutely amazing by itself. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to give this a nice taste and make sure I'm happy with the seasoning. And then we'll come over and we're going to chop up our beautiful tomatoes that we have and we'll assemble our loaded nachos. Loaded nachos Thursday night at the Young's house. You never had this before. You better make you some. You better make you some. Look at this. Beautiful. And then I just kind of like to mash it down just a little so that it can just kind of simmer in all those beautiful sauces. Okay? Just like that. Perfect. Let it go. All right? Come over here and let's chop up our beautiful tomatoes that we have. Before we cut the tomatoes, I almost forgot my most favorite, my most favorite ingredient. We're gonna go in with some refried beans, okay? Round about that much, a little bit more. I like to mix it in with my meat. Almost, almost forgot to tell you all. And I'm so glad I didn't forget. Now, here's what I like to do. Just like so. And you're just gonna kinda mix it in. And it'll start to, uh, so to speak, melt. Okay? It's gonna get mixed in beautifully to this meat and it's gonna give you the most beautiful flavor. This is what I love about my meat mixture. I mix that refried bean in there and it's absolutely amazing. And when people taste it, they say, ooh, what is that? Like, why doesn't my meat taste like that? And I don't say anything. <laughs> I don't say anything. I just let them drool over it, you know, and let them say oohs and ahs. But this is how you make it. And if they wanna know how to make it, all they have to do now is watch the video I've revealed my secret. This right here, this right here is some good loving. You hear me? This is amazing. Once you put those refried beans in there, it's delicious. You hear me? Yes, it is. I can't wait. I'm getting ready to taste it. I have to. Oh, absolutely. I'm going in right now. I can't, I can't wait. I have to. I have to, I have to. It makes it so creamy and so much delicious. So much delicious. I know that doesn't make sense, but it's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what I love. Ooh. It really takes us to another level. You hear me? This is not just taco meat anymore. You put that refried bean in there. Woo! You're going to blow somebody's mind. You hear me? Absolutely you will. Okay, now... Let's go on in. That's just on simmer, okay? Let's go on in and cut these beautiful tomatoes that we have. All right. I've washed my tomatoes off. Make sure you wash your tomatoes as well. Just like this, medium size, not too big and not too little. Just cut you some tomatoes. Just like this. I might only have to cut two. I don't think I'll need that one. All right? Just like this. And what I'm going to put this on, because it's going to be a lot of food, I'm going to take a cookie rack. I'm going to line it with aluminum foil or a cookie sheet. I'm going to line it with aluminum foil, and we'll use that to put our loaded nachos on. Okay. Oh yeah. Now I'm getting excited. Ooh Let's cut this one here. Mm, everybody's just waiting on these nachos. They cannot wait. I don't know when's the last time I made loaded nachos. Someone had asked me, Gina, can you show me and my husband how them how you make loaded nachos? And I said, Yes, I will. 
And so here we are in the Young's house showing you all how Gina Young makes loaded nachos. There's so many different things that you can put on yours. If you wanted to put black olives on there, absolutely you can. You know, you want to put green onions, whatever floats your boat, you put on yours. But this right here is the basic. All right, I don't like to get too crazy with mine. Okay, guys, let me put this in a bowl and let's get this nice and assembled. Okay, everyone, we have everything nice and assembled. Here's my cookie sheet aligned with aluminum foil. If you have a nice platter or even like a pizza tray, you can use that as well. Just make sure you have something large enough to hold this abundance of food that we're making today. So I have my tomatoes nice and chopped. And then let's come over here. I wanna talk about this. Once you put your beans in, your meat can potentially dry up a little bit. So what I did was you just put a little bit of water and that's it and it'll break it up and make it nice and creamy once again, okay? See that? That's what you're wanting. Beautiful. Okay? How much water? Just put you a little bit in. Stir it. Put you a little bit more in and stir it. Now, what I need to do, I need to take my salsa con queso. We're going to heat it up in the microwave for three minutes. Three minutes will heat this whole jar up. Okay? You don't want to go... If you want to, you can pour this into a bowl and then heat it up. I just heat mine up in here. After I heat this up, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this cheese sauce is nice and bubbly. It's nice and hot. Woo, that bad boy is hot. Let's get started. Now, take your chips. Don't break them up. Don't break those chips up. You're gonna put them in a layer, just like so, okay? The worst thing that I hate when some people, there are people out there that make loaded nachos, and like I said, they put that shredded cheese on there, and then all of your nachos stick together because the cheese is almost like a glue. That's just not for me. <laughs> it's not, it's just not for me. This right here, this is what's for me. Oh yeah, baby, you hear me? Look at this. All right, now let's go in. Go in with your meat. Who we go in with that meat? My goodness, you see this? Oh, you see it? Mm-hmm. And I, ooh, I know some of you. Some of you tell me, Gina, I can almost smell it through the phone. <laughs> I love that. That really cracks me up. We really need smell a vision, right? This right here, it looks amazing, and it tastes amazing as well. Look at that. There you go, baby. Just get right on there. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Now, in with some chunky salsa. How much, Gina? Just put you some on there. Okay? Just kind of dab it here and there. Who doesn't love salsa or tortilla chips, right? I know I do. Absolutely, I do. Look at this. It's amazing. It's amazing. Next time your friends are coming over, you have a family get together, the kids, you're watching a movie with the kids, your husband, your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or just having some type of get together. Make these and watch just how fast they go. They go so fast. Tomatoes. Absolutely. Put you some on there. You gotta have you some tomatoes. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get a spoon. Let me get a spoon. Okay, now is when, now is when I start to get excited. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. Look at my cheese sauce, guys. Oh, Gina Young knows what she's doing. You hear me? Your girl knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'll do with the sour cream, the sour cream will just be for the top, okay? Every chip. It's going to get every ingredient on it, and it's going to be magnificent. Do you hear me? Absolutely. Ooh, I start to whisper when I get excited. Mmm. Now, jalapenos. If you're that person that's not a fan of jalapenos, then guess what? 
you don't have to put it on there. And it really, it's that simple. So if you don't like jalapenos, you can use uh, pepperoncinis. Okay? Pepperoncinis are mild in flavor, but they still kind of give you that, you know, that hot pe pepper flavor. Come on, get on there, baby. Beautiful. You see this? Mm, mm, mm. They are waiting on this. They are so excited, and I'm excited to feed it to them. I'm talking about my family. They are waiting in the background. <laughs> now, now, here's what I like to do. Take you another layer. Oh, yeah, we're going to do several layers. And none of these chips are going to stick together because we're not baking this. Only part that we want hot on here is that meat and that cheese. Now, don't put that shredded cheese on there, guys. <laughs> I know I can't tell you all what to do, but I highly suggest you do it this way and just watch. Just watch how fast it goes. I'm so excited to be able to introduce you all to the way I do mine and also introduce you to the refried beans in that meat makes a big difference i know i said it about three times in this video but i'm so serious you hear me Woo! i'm serious mm, mm, mm. look at this beautiful tomato who doesn't love a nice fresh tomato right i know i do oh yeah okay in with the meat oh yeah Oh yeah, we're not stopping, we're not stopping here. <laughs> Your girl's not stopping here. Beautiful, and you can see some of the refried beans in here. Oh, my word, you see this? Mm, mm, mm. I'd love to watch a nice movie tonight, eating on this loaded nacho, Gina Young style. Woo, you never had this. You better make you some. You better make you some. Mm, mm, mm. All right, watch me, guys. Go in, make sure your cheese is nice and hot. Only took me about three minutes to heat this cheese up. And look how nice and it's thick, but it's runny. You know, it's not too, too thick. It's not pasty. Oh, it's amazing. Look at this. My mouth, <laughs> guys, I do it, I do it to myself every time. My mouth is watering so much. So I know, I know you all's mouth has to be watering. You hear me? <laughs> Woo, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to put some of that beautiful chunky salsa on there. This is the way to do it. Trust me when I tell you. Ooh, get on there. Mm-hmm. Right on there. There you go, baby. Okay. Next, you want to go in with some salsa. Once again, jalapenos. And on this one, we're going to put some sour cream on top. All right. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to grab that first bite. And of course, of course I'm gonna let you all taste it. I have to, you guys are my family. I'm gonna share everything with you guys. You hear me? I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all who watch me, everyone who has subscribed and messages me. Thank you. I enjoy sharing my gift from God with you all. Absolutely I do. Let's get right, let's see, a little bit. Come on, give me a little bit right there. All right? Beautiful. Loaded Nachos 101. Gina Young style. You don't have to bake these bad boys. You don't have to bake them. Mm -mm. Don't put that shredded cheese on there. <laughs> and make them stick together. That's the worst. Ooh, hey, look at this. All right, a dollop here and a dollop there, a dollop here and there. Just a few dollops, okay? I'm not really a fan too much of sour cream, but my family members, they do love sour cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and put what they like on these nachos, okay? 
And here's the thing, if they want more sour cream, I should have got the, the squeezable sour cream. If they want more, they can just put some more on theirs, okay? Because I'm sure they're just gonna like grab a load and put it on the plate. If they want more sour cream, they're more than welcome to put some on the side of their plate and enjoy. You see this here? Check it out. Loaded nachos. Gina Young style. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Devil, you have no authority in the young family. Devil, you have no say-so over the young family. Devil, you are bound for good away from the young family. Devil, you are bound away from my viewers in Jesus Christ's name. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. And we thank you for today. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. We thank you for the roof over our head. The food that you give us. And the love from you daily, Jesus. Amen. Let's look at this. Let's take a good look at this. <clears throat> Loaded nachos by Jeannie Young. This is what they should look like. Now, let's take a bite. <clears throat> Never sticking together. You see that? See how easy they'll come up? Beautiful, never sticking together. You put that shredded cheese on there and you think you're going to bake them, those bad boys are going to stick together and you all will be fighting to try to get to them. Look at this. Taste that and let me know what you think. Taste it, baby. Let me know what you think. woo -wee! Let me give you this one. You got cheese. You got salsa. You got fresh tomato, jalapeno, and sour cream. Dig in. There you go, guys. Beautiful. Let me know what you think. I'm going in. Mm. 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 There's no stopping me. No stopping me. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect. Mm. Perfect flavor every time. Make sure you try those refried beans when you make this. Mm. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. Take one more bite, guys, right there. Look at that melted cheese. Oh, Ooh, I'm going in. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm, mmm, mmm. This right here, this hits the spot every time. I love you guys. Have a good night until tomorrow. Mm, make you some.